Sanji Swamy, who is the founder and CEO at Living Guard AG, and he joins us all the way from Zubicon in Switzerland. Pleasure to have you. Thanks for waking up bright and early, Sanji. Well, it seems that the message coming from so many health authorities around the world is just to wear the mask. I mean, we know that's a debate in the U.S., but data has showed how important it is. But it seems that you're trying to even improve upon traditional masks itself. What kind of evidence do you have that shows that your technology really makes a mask even more effective? Two things. I mean, the biggest issue on, on masks is cross-contamination. So it's it's touching your mask. If it is contaminated with COVID, uh, uh, then then you and if you rub your eyes or some other part of your body or hold something, uh, you will you will uh, con contaminate yourself and you can get the uh, uh, get the infection. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is, you know, you need uh, protection breathing in and you need protection breathing out. If you have the infection, then while breathing out, uh, you you got to protect the people around you, and while breathing in, you got to protect the people uh, who are wearing masks should not breathe in the COVID. So we have a dual layer uh, protection on our mask with a layer of uh, protection inside and outside, both of which uh, kill kill the infection. Okay. And what kind of outside validation have you received for this technology? I understand you are still awaiting FDA approval. Do you have any indication of what is holding up that approval and what other sort of external bodies have signed off on this technology? So the first test we did was with the University of Arizona in Tucson, uh, where they tested against a, uh, a surrogate. And then the uh, University of Berlin, uh, the Free University of Berlin or FU Berlin, uh, in a study uh, conducted by the European Union, uh, tested our textiles uh, used in the mass to show a 99.9 uh, .9 effectivity against uh, killing the coronavirus, the actual virus itself. And we have submitted the data to the FDA, and uh, they're expecting us to do a few more tests, which we'll do soon. Sanjeev, how are you addressing affordability of your masks? Because increasingly we might get to a place where only those who can afford the better masks can wear them and those who can't, simply can't afford them are left with ones that just simply aren't as effective. We, our mask is reusable and washable and generally, if used properly, can, can work for almost uh, six months. So it's not only a environmentally friendly mask, you know, you have... Uh, almost no uh, uh, waste. Um, it's also safe and it's a reusable mask. So the, the cost for use is, is less than 10 cents. Okay, and then can you tell us a little bit about how the current crisis has affected the way that you can do, uh, conduct your operations, your distributions? Have you had squeezes on your supply chain? Yes, it's been, it's been a challenge. Um, uh, uh, but it's been a challenge that we've uh, stepped up with. We worked with our partners. Uh, we've, uh, you know, we've set up production units in individual countries, working with governments and with our partners. And uh, that's the only way to go forward. I think, uh, you know, if if uh, the COVID does come back in a second wave, then we have to be ready to face uh, face that problem. Sanjeev, do you see the potential for using this type of technology on other PPE? I mean, I think that it's been talked about using it on gloves, perhaps. What is the potential? So we're, we're working on a glove solution, which should be out in the next uh, one or two weeks. And uh, then we're looking at, uh, you know, frontline medical workers to, to find a different solution for the healthcare workers, uh, especially uh, which, which takes care of uh, cost, because, um, you know, we had a very... Uh, difficult uh, task to set up uh, our technology on mass, especially because of breathability and, and the matrix and, and effectiveness. So uh, we're looking at, at a much better solution, which we should have ready in July uh, for healthcare workers, for scrubs and, and uh, lab coats and, and just general apparel that the, that the workers, uh, healthcare workers use in hospitals. Can we get a better idea, too, of how you are funding both the research and also the production development? Because at the moment, it just seems to be 
such a hot area to pour money into anything that's improving PPE, but primarily in health tech as well. Yeah, we have uh, uh, we have uh, our investors um, in in uh, all over the world, and uh, they are providing all the funding we need. Um, we we're a well-funded company. We have uh, you know a team in the U.S. besides a team in in Europe, and and all small team now growing fast in Singapore, and a large team in India as well. So we have four teams. We're very well funded. Um, the investors. Uh, completely back the company and uh, we can raise all the capital we need to fund this.